Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Bhutan's king arrives in India for three-day visit to boost ties. Pakistan posts highest ever annual inflation, stampedes for food kill 16. An activist says Pakistan treats Sindh as colony highlights atrocities. And now for all the details, Bhutan's King Jigme Khesar Namgyal Wangchuk on Monday arrived in New Delhi for a three-day official visit to India to further advance bilateral partnership. The King was received by India's Foreign Minister Esther Shankar at the airport. The visit comes at the invitation of India's President Draupadi Murmu, keeping with the long-standing tradition of regular high-level exchanges between the two countries. The Bhutanese king will meet President Murmu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday. Bhutan is important to India because it acts as a buffer state between India and China. India has long been Bhutan's top trading partner and continues to be the primary source of investment and economic assistance for its socio-economic development. And responding to remarks by the United States and Germany on the disqualification of Congress leader Rahul Gandhi from the parliament following his conviction in a defamation case, India's foreign minister Esther Shankar on Sunday said the West thinks it has a God-given right to comment on internal matters of other countries. He said the West will only realize consequences of its behavior when other countries start doing the same. Jay Shankar said that the fact of the matter is that the disqualification was only an outcome of a law supported by the Congress party in the past. It is because the West has a bad habit for a long time of commenting on other people. Okay. They, they somehow think it's some kind of God-given right. Huh? And, and I think they, they will have to learn only by experience that if you keep doing this, other people will also start commenting and they will not like it when that happens. In the latest on Monday, Rahul Gandhi was granted an extension in his bail by the court in 2019 defamation case over his Modi surname remarks. The case will be heard next on April 13th. Congress leaders have accused the ruling BJP of trying to silence dissenting voices by targeting a prominent face. Well, a crowd of frightened people fled a food distribution site in Pakistan's Peshawar this past weekend as gunshots rang out behind them, one of several such incidents in recent weeks amid record high inflation. At least 16 people have been killed in the country in stampedes at such sites. At least 16 people, including five women and three children, have been killed and some fled across Pakistan in stampedes over the past weekend as gunshots rang out behind them at sites distributing free flour under a government-backed scheme to help families struggling with soaring cost of basic staples. Police said officers resorted to using tear gas and firing their weapons in the air to disperse the crowd, which the country's food minister said had gotten difficult for the government to control. The distribution sites have been set up amid the holy month of Ramadan to help ease the impact of soaring inflation, which has jumped to a record 35%. <laughs> The stampedes underscore people's desperation in the face of soaring cost, made worse by Pakistan's falling currency and a removal of subsidies agreed with the International Monetary Fund to unlock the latest tranche of its financial support packages. And Sajjad Shah, an activist of JSC in the Mutahida Mehes, has exposed Pakistan and its army for carrying out atrocities on the people of Sindh and treating the region as its colony. Speaking on sidelines of UNHRC session in Geneva, Sajjad highlighted Sindhis have been suffering from worst form of slavery, political oppression and economic exploitation for the past 75 years. He pointed out Pakistan has been carrying out enforced disappearances to muzzle any dissent and voiced concerns of oppression of minority Hindus and Christians. He also highlighted that even after six months following the devastating floods that hit Sindh, Pakistan has intentionally left 
Sindhis alone to die without providing any significant assistance. आप अगर देखेंगे 2003 या 4 से फिगर उठा के देखेंगे तो कोई 20,000 के करीब लोग जो हैं वो उठाए गए हैं फिर कुछ की लाशें बस क्यों ना लाशें मिली कुछ जो हैं उनको फिर आजाद किया गया लेकिन फिर भी वो इस कैफियत में या इस पोजीशन में नहीं थे कि वो फिर दोबारा से जो है वो ये दो जहत का हिस्सा बन सकें या नार्मल ज़िंदगी की तरफ लौट सकें तो सिंध में बहुत सारे इश्यूज़ हैं और हम समझते हैं कि सबसे बड़ा इशू जो है वो कौमी गुलामी का है जो इस वक्त हम पाकिस्तान के अंदर एक जबरी कैद में जो है वो हमारी कौम छः करोड़ लोग जो हैं वो and inflation in sri lanka remains at slightly over 50% although it is on a downward trend as the country struggles to emerge from its worst financial crisis the country's census and statistics department in a statement has said the key inflation rate is to 50.3% in march from 50.6% in february the ccpi the colombo consumer price index reflected a reduction in food inflation to 47.6% in march from 54.4% in february but non food inflation reached to 51.7% the ccpi acts as a lead indicator for broader national prices and shows how inflation is evolving in capital colombo sri lanka has been struggling with soaring prices for over a year inflation for march was also impacted by a massive 66% par tariff hike in february The Taliban administration in Afghanistan has ordered the shutdown of a women-run radio station in Afghanistan for playing music during Ramadan multiple reports have suggested Sadai Banwan which means women's voice in Dari was started 10 years ago Reports quoted Mohsudeen Ahmadi the director for information and culture in Badakhshan saying that the radio station violated the laws and regulations of the Islamic Emirate by broadcasting songs and music the committee to protect journalists has called on Taliban to stop their ongoing crackdown on local media and allow the broadcaster to continue its work And Christians across India commemorated Palm Sunday with special prayers. It marks the day Jesus rode into Jerusalem and was hailed by the people only to be crucified 5 days later. Christian devotees observed Palm Sunday in India's southern Kerala state by offering prayers at various churches to commemorate Jesus Christ's entry into the city of Jerusalem before getting arrested and crucified. Palm Sunday is followed by Good Friday and then Easter, the most important day on the Christian liturgical calendar. Devotees held palm leaves and later took part in processions to mark the occasion. In that way he entered Jerusalem. He was greeted and welcomed by the people of Jerusalem and Jews with the saitin kombu that is palm leaves. Here it is called palm leaves. that marks the end of the public life of Jesus Christ The Holy Week which begins on Palm Sunday and ends on Easter Sunday marks the last week of Lent during which Christians are called on to fast pray and give alms to the needy After the mass some devotees hang the palm leaves inside their house in the belief that it will ward off evil spirits Well that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.